Why? Why? If you Why? have T-Mobile 5G home internet, you might be hearing this Why? a lot. Why? Every time your internet slows down during the busiest hours. Why? Why? Because your network gives priority to cell phone users. Why? Why? Good question. Why not switch to Cox Internet with two times faster download speeds than T-Mobile 5G home internet during peak hours? Okay. Stop the whys and visit cox.com slash 5G home for details. T-Mobile prioritizes certain T-Mobile phone users over home internet users during times of congestion. Discover, this is Daniela. Hi, it's Jennifer Coolidge. I just want to thank you for making me feel so special. I earned cash back on debit for my dinner party groceries. That's great. But with Discover Cashback Debit, we give everyone cash back on everyday purchases. Anything else I can help you with? Do you like asparagus and mushroom sorbet? I've got leftovers. Introducing Discover Cashback Debit, a checking account with cash back. It pays to Discover. Eligibility in terms at discover.com slash cashback debit. Discover Bank, member FDIC. <laughs> My friends, I'm Stan Fernando Red, the man who opposes tax. I hope I'm getting through to you because, brother, these are the facts. You won't know what you're missing if you don't see Norge. <laughs> Transcribed from Hollywood, Norge, a division of Borg Warner, manufacturers of America's most modern automatic and ringer washers, gas and electric ranges, water heaters, and home freezers. Originators and world's largest manufacturers of self-defrosting refrigerators, Nord presents the Red Skelton Radio Show. <laughs> With Red Skelton, David Rose and his orchestra, Lorene Tuttle, Pat McGeehan and the Smith Twins will be me, Rod O'Connor. Now the star of our program, the man with the carrot top and the cauliflower ear, MGM's clown, Red Skelton. Thank you and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I suppose you're all worn out from exchanging your Christmas presents. <laughs> <laughs> How are you, O'Connor? I'm fine, Red. That's quite a colorful shirt you're wearing tonight. Is it a Christmas present? No, it's not a shirt. It's all the ties I got for Christmas. I'm wearing them at once. <laughs> You know, Christmas is one time of the year it was when I wish I didn't have a nick at all. <laughs> <laughs> hey, before I forget it, I want to thank you for the presents you gave me. Oh, it was nothing. I know, but I want to thank you for it. <laughs> Say, I want to thank you for your present, too. Oh. It's a little large, though. Well, you can have it changed for a smaller size. Oh, I didn't know you had any smaller pictures of yourself. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I have. I thought you'd enjoy the billboard side. Oh. <laughs> Makes a nice windbreaker for a wheat field. Well, Red, Christmas is over. Yeah, and this show will be too now if I don't get with it. <laughs> but I got one thing for Christmas that will help me remember Christmas for the next 12 months. What's that? The bills from the store my wife shopped at. <laughs> Yesterday, I called the bank and I says, what's my balance? And the teller says... How much does this phone call cost you? I says, a dime. He says, you can't afford it. <laughs> Say, uh, when are you going to take down your Christmas tree? Oh, never. Trees are so expensive. <laughs> I used the same one only a couple of weeks, you know. So last year, I just planted one in the front room. Are you kidding? Tree won't grow inside the house? Oh, yes, it will. I watered it faithfully every day. I put some bigger row around it, too. And it really grows? I'll say. Only trouble. I'm having trouble now mowing the grass rug once a week. <laughs> you, know, you know, it's a lot of fun to decorate a tree, though. Well, you have to be artistic. Oh, yes. Hey, you know how to get a good icicle effect no. when you decorate a tree? That? Well, you stand and get somebody to stand in front of the tree eating a plate of spaghetti, and you slap them on the back. <laughs> The, the, the meatballs make awful nice ornaments, too. <laughs> well, uh, tell me, what did your family give you for Christmas? Well, right? Georgie gave me a pair of shoes, and my little boy Richard gave me a pair of socks, and my little daughter Valentina gave me some shoestrings. My feet had a very merry Christmas. <laughs> Here are the Smith twins to sing Chris Kringle. Mm-hmm. 
snow is on the mistletoe and Santa's work is through. He's closed his shop and packed his sleigh for you and you and you. Chris, Chris, train the way the tingle lingle lingle has started on its merry way. Chris, Chris, train the way the tingle lingle lingle has the brand new reindeer driven sleigh. It's filled with toys for girls and boys and things the youngsters like to see. There's ties for Pop, a gift for Mom to spread around the Christmas tree. Chris, Chris, Kringle with a tingle lingle lingle has worked so hard throughout the year. He'll soon be here with a tingle lingle lingle to bring us all some Christmas cheer. So hang your stocking by the fireplace and down that chimney with a smiling face. Welcome, Chris, Kringle with a tingle lingle lingle with a tingle lingle 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 lingle. So hang your stocking by the Place. And down the chimney with a smiley face Welcome Chris Kringle Welcome Chris Kringle With most women these days, the question is not, do I want an automatic washer? The only question is when and what kind. Now, I'm not knocking other automatics. There are several good ones. But I'm honestly convinced that on every count, the new Norge Timeline Automatic is the simplest, most efficient automatic washer you can buy. That's quite a statement. But here are some facts. Only Norge has the timeline control. Not even a dial to set. Only Norge offers wave agitation that gets clothes cleaner by actual tests and other washers, even ringer types. Only Norge gives your clothes five warm rinses, yet uses less water than the average. Only Norge spins clothes fluff dry, almost ready to iron, without bunching or tangling. The amazing thing is that instead of costing more, this new Norge Timeline Automatic costs less than any comparable washer. Start the new year by saying good riddance to wash day work. Ask your Norge dealer for a free demonstration of the new Timeline Automatic. You won't know what you're missing if you don't see Nord. From the Skelton Scrapbook of Satire, we present a story entitled The Day After Christmas. Chapter One is captioned Bad Business, and it concerns the woes of the Christmas tree salesman, Clem Cadiddlehopper. <laughs> Somebody threw me a fish. <laughs> yes, sir, here I am, Clem the Christmas tree man. Boy, business sure is bad. Yesterday, uh, Christmas Day, it was doing pretty good. The day business just fell off to nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Can't figure out why either. I ain't got no competition today. <laughs> All the other lots are closed. One guy got mad and burned all of his trees up. <laughs> and I'm going to sweat it out. <laughs> ah, these trees, boy, I work like a beaver to get these trees. We're all in them off my teeth. <laughs> Christmas tree, get your nice, big, fat, juicy Christmas tree. <laughs> Buy now and save. Deal with old honest Clem. We use Christmas tree dealers. Uh-oh, here comes a lady with a load of bundles. Here comes a bundle with a load on. I'll bet she don't see that strip of ice there on the sidewalk. Oh, lady, to the left. To the step to the left, lady. <laughs> Oh, 
For a second, I was afraid she was going to miss it, you know. Help! Help me up! Why, Daisy, June. <laughs> Here, I'll help you out. Give me your nose. <laughs> you have a cold. <laughs> <laughs> Are you all right? Oh, I'm so frozen, my face is blue. Yep. Aren't you cold? Well, I'm freezing. I got so many goose pimples, they're riding piggyback. <laughs> Say, uh, where'd you get that fur coat? You like it? Yeah. What kind of fur is that? Ermine dyed gunny sack? <laughs> no, it's imported gopher skin. Yeah. You mean you took that skin off of some poor little gopher on a day like this? Well, I can just see the picture of that little fella running around me short. <laughs> oh, well, I guess you needed it worse than he did. Oh, I'll ask you again, what kind of a coat is that? You say it's, a, it's dyed mink. What kind of a coat is that? It's dyed mink. Sure died a horrible death, didn't it? <laughs> it's pretty, though. It matches your mustache. <laughs> I believe it's getting colder. Here, let's stand over by the uh, bonfire here. <laughs> here, I'll, I'll light the fire. Oh, oh, that feels good. Oh, fine. Well, Clem, did Santa bring you what you wanted? No, I decided to give up asking for brains. <laughs> well, what did you find in your stocking yesterday morning when you got up? My foot. I sleep with my stocking going. You know. <laughs> Last night, I got, I got so warm, I had to get up and take my socks off. And those pajamas, too. I always sleep in pajamas. They, they keep my underwear clean. <laughs> you get more stupid every year. Oh, I do. Not Well, you can't say I'm in a rut. That's one thing. <laughs> no, I, I'm kidding about sleeping in my underwear. I, I have pajamas. Huh? Keep them under my pillow in case of fire. <laughs> well, here. Have a gumdrop. No, I don't mind if I do. Mm. Gumdrop is right. <laughs> All I got left is gum. <laughs> what did you think of the present I gave you, Clam? Say, that was a dandy sweater that you knitted me. But I don't have three arms. Well, why, you, you didn't take my measurements right. Doesn't it fit? Well, there's only a place for one head. <laughs> you forget I'm a double-decker. Oh, don't be silly. I appreciate the gift you gave me. It's all right, those off. It's all right. <laughs> what did you say? I appreciate the gift you gave me. But to save my soul, I can't figure out what it is. Well, that makes us even, neither could I. <laughs> but it was such a bargain, I just couldn't afford to pass it up. <laughs> I think it's a monogrammed fly swatter with a year's supply of flies. <laughs> I'll give you another gift, though, uh, DJ. I've picked out any Christmas tree that you like, and it's yours. I'll give it to you as a present. But, Clam, Christmas is over. Well, so what? Wouldn't you like to have a tree for Easter? <laughs> to sell any Christmas trees a day after Christmas. Well, I never was one for details, you know. <laughs> if you're so smart, I'll buy a tree right now. If you were real smart, you'd buy it while, while, while there's a reduction on them, you see. Now, remember, it's only 12 months off till Christmas. <laughs> Hello. A car just pulled up. <laughs> I got that off of a English movie on television. Hello. <laughs> Good show, good show. Christmas tree, mister. Now's the time to get one. Take it on your summer vacation, will you? Look, Bullethead, I bought a tree from you last week. By the time I got it home, all the needles fell off it. Well, that sounds silly. What do you mean it sounds silly? Well, I do them on good. <laughs> I came to get my money back. Well, how about taking another tree in exchange? How about me giving you a black eye? Put me down, put me down. Oh, mister... Why waste those beautiful muscles on a moron like Clay? Yeah, well, there's so few of us uh, pedigreed morons left, you know. 
Hey, you're a cute little dish. Well, this ain't dish night. <laughs> you really think so, though? Now, keep out of this, flappy ears. <laughs> I'm talking to the girl here. What's your name, honey? Daisy June. <laughs> well, let's not get sickening about this. Daisy June, huh? Hey, that's, that's a cute little name. Stop hiding your head in my pocket. <laughs> I didn't know I had false teeth, but they came out during conversation. Look, bird brain. Bird brain. <laughs> I like Daisy June, and just because of her, I'll buy another tree and burn it here to keep her warm. Oh, mm. you're so continental. <laughs> Nervous or anxious? What kind of tree do you want, mister? How much do you want to pay? Well, uh, let's see. Uh, something for 40 cents. Do yeah. you have anything of that price? Well, um... Um... Yes, 40. <laughs> uh, would you like to have it on easy terms? <laughs> well, I'll just look around. Bill, uh, would you care to wait on me, beautiful? Oh, charmed, I'm sure. Yeah, you're the best-looking girl I've seen in years. What's he? I'm talking to her, if you don't mind. I said she was the best-looking girl I'd seen in years. Oh? How long you been at sea? <laughs> oh, don't mind him, mister. He's jealous. Oh, Daisy June, you're forgetting I'm your boyfriend. You know, baby, if I thought you had a boyfriend, I'd punch his face in. What did you say, Clem? I don't speak to strangers. <laughs> a beautiful tree, mister. How much, baby? Only ten dollars. Kind of stiff, but I'll tell you what, I'll buy it if you'll go out with me and have lunch. How about Okay. It? <laughs> she sure plays hard to get, don't she? <laughs> hey, rabbit ears. <laughs> Put this tree in my car. Now, Ooh. go ahead, Clem. Put the tree in his car before he changes his mind. And watch out, crossing the street. Okie dokie. Uh, careful, Clem, you might get hit by a car. Don't worry, I'm crossing in a safety zone. All the cars stop for pedestrians. Everybody in this town knows that. No! <laughs> Must have been a tourist. He didn't even say pardon me. <laughs> Dave Rose and the orchestra, and Love Makes the World Go Round.
And now for one of those helpful wash day tips from Jesse Cartwright, co-director of the Norge Home Economics Department. Greetings, folks. During the holidays, if any candle grease drips on your table linens, remove it this way before you wash. Afterwards may be too late. Scrape off the wax, then press the spot with a hot iron over a clean blotter. Of course, with silks or rayons, you'd use a cooler iron. Then sponge with cleaning fluid. That hot or cool iron business reminds me, aren't you supposed to wash some things in warm instead of hot water? Yes, indeed. That's why the new Norge Timeline Automatic provides a choice of hot or warm washing. As we so often say, everything Norge makes, Norge makes right. And it's true. Norge gets clothes cleaner by tests than any other washer. Gives them five warm rinses, including the overflow type, and spin dries them without tangling or bunching. The only work you have to do is press the Timeline button. There's not even a dial to set. Ask your Norge dealer for a free demonstration of the new Timeline Automatic Washer. You won't know what you're missing if you don't see Norge. Chapter 2 of The Day After Christmas is entitled, I Give Up, and it stars Junior, the mean little kid. <laughs> How does she know I was doing something wrong? <laughs> it beats me, boy. She will, no doubt. <laughs> hey, what did you want, kiddo? Come downstairs. Yes, ma'am. In a few minutes. At the moment, I am very busy. Well, drop what you're doing and come down here. Okay. <laughs> I was pouring water out of the flower vase. <laughs> come down here at once. I better step on it, boy. I detect a hairbrush tone in her voice. <laughs> I slide down the banisters. It will be quicker. like that, you scared me, too. <laughs> Goodness, you make me stop like that, and you know it's impossible but to get a retread over the holiday. <laughs> Junior, you've broken six bases this week. Six. Now, how do you explain that? Well, Sunday is a day of rest. <laughs> Look at this living room. It looks like a cyclone hit it. Well, don't blame it on me. Blame it on Santa Claus for bringing me that chemistry set. The first thing I did was make myself a uranium spitball. <laughs> Boy, we better move to Las Vegas to try out my other inventions. Anyway, I, we, I'd like to see more of Pop anyhow. Your father doesn't spend much time in Nevada. He only goes there for big game hunting. Yeah, shooting dice. <laughs> Junior, your father does not gamble. Oh, living in this house with me is a gamble. <laughs> As doctor would say. <laughs> Junior, Sir? come here. Mother wants to talk to you. Well, does we have to go through that birds and bees routine again? Frankly, I'm getting quite bored of that, you know. No, darling. You told me about the birds and bees, and, and, and I kissed the bee, and he stung me. This is really something else. So? Huh? In a few days, the year 1951 will be gone forever. Well, don't blame that on me. <laughs> nothing to do with you, kiddo. We'll start a brand new year. Yeah? And I think it's about time you make some resolutions for 1952. Okay, I'm going to make three of them. First, wash three times a day. Mm -hmm. Second, never to refuse to take a nap. Now, how's that for a revolution? Uh, resolution. <laughs> Not revolution. Personally, I think it's revolting. <laughs> you name two, Junior. What about the third one? I was afraid you were going to ask that. My third one is not to pay any attention to the first two. <laughs> <laughs> I had a little plan all break up, because I... I'm going to do what I'm going to do anyhow, so why be miserable, you know? You won't be miserable, dear. Yes, I will. You'll be improving your character. Well, I'm too much of a character as it is. <laughs> I, is you going to make any revolutions? Resolutions, Junior. Resolutions. Yes, dear. I'm going to try to make your home life even happier than it has been. You've been like this ever since you've been listening to them English movies on television. <laughs> that what? Resolutions, resolutions. Can't we go down and have some to eat? Don't we have to stay... Get lost, kiddo. <laughs> well, you mean that you... That if I... That if I... If I live a better life, that you is going to, uh, perhaps, um... Top of page 27? <laughs> well, I'm not going to burn the hairbrush, if that's what you mean. I knew she'd find it sooner or later. <laughs> In fact, I've started my resolution already. Oh? Right now, I have something baking in the oven. I know. I've been washing it, watching the smoke steam out of the kitchen. Oh, good heavens! Yeah. Oh! Fire! Fire! But no, it is fire. fire. No. 
Oh. What's that? The oven was too hot and I burned the first batch of buns. Well, shall I go get some onion tea? <sighs> now, where's that cookbook? It's over there. You burned that, too. <laughs> That's enough, Junior. Now, stop that. Now, go play with your dog. I'm busy. Well, me dog is asleep on me bed. What? You get yourself right upstairs and get him off. It's unhealthy for him to sleep on your bed. Well, I know, but he get used to it. <laughs> Now, you go upstairs and get that dog off your bed. I don't have to go upstairs to do that. All I got to do is open this icebox door. What, kiddo? Eat there, boy. Works better than a whistle. Better than a whistle. Huh? There, you you hungry, Duke? Huh? Hey, what's the trick I taught you, Mommy? What's this? Here? Okay, Duke, set up. Set up, will you? Set up. <laughs> oh, what a stupid dog. You told him to sit up and he laid down. Well, he's not stupid. You go tell a dog to do something and he do it. But you tell a dog to do something and he do something on your own, it takes brains, you think of that. <laughs> he's not stupid. You see, he's part German Shepherd and he don't understand English very well. <laughs> Why do you call my puppy dog stupid? He called him stupid and he's a nice Oh, dog, no, dog. now, Junior, now don't You cry. know he's stupid and I know he's stupid. But he thinks he's Einstein. <laughs> Don't cry. I'll let you be the first one to sample one of my cinnamon buns. Oh, no, you're not going to make no guinea pig out of me. <laughs> take it away, kid. Take it away. Oh, South America, take it away. <laughs> now, that was not a very nice thing to say about my buns. Here, now, try one. Well, why press me luck? Here, I'll let the puppy dog take it. Here, boy. Here, take a bite of it. Look! Take it away from him. He's getting crumbs all over the floor. Them ain't crumbs. Them just teeth. <laughs> oh! Look at his teeth fall out. <laughs> look at that. All his teeth fall out. <laughs> oh, look at him sneer at me. <laughs> you deserve a good whipping. Mommy, if you as much as lay a hand on me, I'm going to tell on you. You tell what? I will tell everybody that you run a bookie business in the basement. <laughs> Why, that's not so. Oh, no. <laughs> Stay where you are. This is a raid. Hurry! Hurry! Hide the phone! <laughs> what am I going to do to you? Well, you know. You go upstairs to your room and think about your New Year's resolutions. Okay, Lieutenant. Which one shall I work on? The one that will help you to be a better boy. Oh. And make you thankful for the things you have. Well, has I got something to be thankful for? Why, certainly everyone has. Well, what have you got to be thankful for? I'm thankful for you. Oh, this kid blew her top. <laughs> Boy, yes, I am. dust is coming out of her ears right now. <laughs> You're a real George, Clyde. <laughs> you dreamer, you. You are thankful you has me? Yes, darling. Then why is it every time you look at me, you get up, walk across the room, and punch me pop right in the nose? <laughs> This is Rod O'Connor saying, remember in refrigerators, home freezers, gas, and electric ranges, washers and water heaters, everything Norge makes, Norge makes right. Don't put off visiting your Norge dealer to see the new Timeline Automatic Washer. Ask for a free demonstration. See how Norge's new wave agitation works, how it gets clothes really clean. See those five warm rinses and how clothes come out untangled, almost ironing dry. Then compare the price. When you see how much less this new Norge costs than any comparable washer, you'll know why it's setting sales records. It'll pay you to see the new Norge Timeline washer soon. And now until next week, this is Red Skelton saying thanks for listening and reminding you that you won't know what you're missing if you don't see Norge. <laughs> Join us again next week for the Red Skelton Show. Red Skelton is heard in this program through the courtesy of Metro Golden Mayor Studios. This is a copyrighted feature transcribed from Hollywood. This is the CBS Radio Network.
With the Lucky Land Slots, you can get lucky just about anywhere. This is your captain speaking. Uh, we've got clear runway and the weather's fine, but we're just going to circle up here a while and uh, get lucky. No, no, nothing like that. It's just these cash prizes add up quick. So I suggest you sit back, keep your tray table upright, and start getting lucky. Play for free at LuckyLandSlots.com. Are you feeling lucky? No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details. The Jeep Black Friday sales event is here with incredible deals on a wide selection of Jeep 4x4 vehicles. Right now, get 15% below MSRP for an average of 11514 under MSRP on the purchase of a 2023 Jeep Grand Cherokee 4xE Overland or Summit. Not compatible with lease offers or with any other consumer incentive offers. 11514 average based on 15% below average MSRP from all 2023 Grand Cherokee 4xE Overland and Summit models in dealer stock. Residency restrictions apply. Take retail delivery from dealer stock by 1130. Jeep is a registered trademark.